Hi people, hope you're good. In today's video I will be unboxing and trying out some new clip pins that I recently purchased from Curl Queens. Let me give you a quick rundown. So recently I literally have been at a loss in regards to what I should do with my hair. So at the moment as you can see I've got a bob, this is my real hair. You know I love it, my hair's healthy, it feels good and all that good stuff. But I am seriously, seriously bored with this length. Sometimes I just want to switch it up, I want to have a little bit more length, I want to feel a little bit more girly and all that good stuff. So of course I thought about wigs but unfortunately lace frontals they're just not for me. That is just way too much maintenance. I've got the school run, I've got things that I need to be doing quickly and a lace frontal that's just not for me. And then when it comes to closures, um, I did pick myself up a, I think it's a 6 by 6 closure wig. But when I tell you the struggle has been real, partly because the lace that's on it is just super, super thick. So no matter what I do to try and blend it in, it is not blending and it is literally an eyesore. It's one of those situations where you're talking to somebody and you can see that they're looking at the lace and I cannot be here for that type of embarrassment. If you even go back to some of my old videos, you're going to see the lace just just talking to you. With that being said, I thought about doing some um, sew-ins, but unlike most people who will have a protective styling for a while when it helps their hair to flourish, my hair texture does not suit um, protective styles that are in for too long. The longer I have a protective style in, my hair actually gets weaker, more fragile. So by the time I actually take out the protective style after a few weeks or a month or so, my hair is literally crying out for some TLC. It does not help my hair to thrive at all. So with that being said, I decided to look into some clipping hair extension website. I've done a lot of research, watched a lot of videos, and then decided to go with Curl Queens clipping range. So the main reason as to why I decided to purchase Curl Queen's hair is because of the density, fullness and thickness of the hair that I've seen in reviews. In the past I have purchased clipping extensions and they have been super 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 thin even though they say that it's I don't know say 180 grams. By the time you actually put them in it just looks really thin and ideally you would have to purchase a second pack of clippings and I'm not really looking to be spending over £200 on clippings, no thank you. And also because I do have a blunt cut bob, I do need something that is going to be quite thick so that you can't see the line of demarcation between my hair and the clippings. So with that being said, I am going to unbox or take the hair out of the package with you. I haven't even looked at it yet. Put them in and give you an honest opinion as to what I think about Curl Queen's hair. So let's jump straight in. So it comes in this gold bag, which has this um, logo Curl Queens on it. It says Curl Queens, Brazilian virgin hair that lasts at least six months. Hopefully it lasts longer than that because I like to get the most out of my money. So on the inside, it looks like it has a little note. It probably gives you instructions as to how you should care for the hair. Next, you get a little package that has some spare clips in it. It has a roll of um, thread and it also has these little hair clips, which realistically I'm not gonna use, but thank you for the kind gesture anyway. And then finally, we get to the hair. The hair does feel quite heavy, so I'm liking that thus far. Let me open it and let's see what we have going on. So it has another clip on the inside of the hair. Thank you very much. It doesn't have a bad smell. To be honest, it just smells like um, hair that you get from the hair shop. Hopefully it's not hair that you get from the hair shop. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me move back to test out the length. I decided to get 16 inches just because I wanted the hair to look natural. I'm gonna go and get some scissors to cut the plastic things off and then I'm going to start to install it. So I'll be right back. Let's see what we are working with. So there are two clippings that have four clips on it. And then we have another two that has four clips on it. 
So already this is different to most um, clipping lines because I, the ones that I've got in the past, they usually only have one or two long pieces that I guess you would add for volume around the crown area or wherever fits your head. So the fact that this has four clippings with four clips, I like that because already that is going to give me a little bit more body. Then we have two sections that have two clips on it. Oh wow. And then we have two clippings that have three clips on it. And then we have another two clippings that have two clips. To be honest, that was very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I've just explained that to you. So let me use my phone. I'm going to do a quick close up of the clippings and I'm going to insert it over here somewhere just so you can understand what you get in the package a little bit more. So as you can see, there are four wefts that have four clippings on it. So the top two, they're a lot wider. Then below it, you have two which also have four clippings, but they are a little bit shorter. And then you have two which have three clippings on it and then the last four have two clippings on them so i look forward to putting them in my hair and seeing what effect i get the hair does feel quite thick and it does have a slight coarse texture to it it's not silky straight so it will be interesting to see how it blends in with my hair so let's do it so where should i start i've got quite a small head so yeah, I'm trying to see which clippings would be best. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I think I need a smaller piece. So I'm gonna go in with a two clip section instead. So far I like the grip of the clips because as I said, I have tried clippings in the past and sometimes you put the clippings in and it slips out. So you have to back comb the hair a little bit just for that added extra piece of security. But thus far with the first clip, it hasn't been too bad and my hair is really thin. So yeah, clips are prone to falling out of my hair. I'm gonna go in with another two piece clip. Or should I try the three piece? Let me see. Okay, I'm going to try a three piece instead. And I'm literally just sectioning my hair with my fingers. I'm not being extremely accurate with it. I'm just basically putting it where it can fit. Okay, that's that piece. I am putting the clips quite close together. As I said, I do have a small head and I do have quite thin hair. So I really want to try to get as many of the clips onto my head as possible, which means I do have to sort of like stack them quite close together. So I'm going in with another weft that has the three clips on it. So next I'm going to go in with a weft that has four clips on it, but it isn't the ultra wide one, it's the one that was just below. So let's see if that fits. So, so far you can still clearly see my bob peeking through, so I definitely need to try and put them in a position that is going to cover as much of my true length as possible. So now I'm going to be going in with one of the extra long four clipped wefts and I'm gonna curve this around the top of my head. And then I'm going to go in with the last extra long weft that has the four clips on it. And I am gonna try to bring them pretty close to the front of my face with the hopes that they will cover the length of my bob. So I installed the last three clippings off camera just because I really needed to try to 
put them in the correct places and this is the final result so i'm not entirely mad at it um at the end of the day my hair is cut into a very blunt bob so it's going to be near impossible to try and blend the two lengths in seamlessly so i'm going to have to work with what i've got but for the hair to have just come out of the package i haven't washed it i haven't conditioned it or any of that good stuff literally just plonked it on my head so for my first opinion and honest review i'm pleasantly surprised and quite happy this is these are definitely the thickest clippings that i have ever 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 experienced um, I have never actually tried out this yucky texture um, in the past I have got hair which is more so on the silky side so yeah it's, it's, it's nice it just gives me like a blown out type of look despite the length my hair blends pretty well into it I don't really see that much of a difference so um, yeah I'm happy with it really I think what I'll do is um, play around with the positioning of the clips on my head a little bit more. Give me any tips or advice as to how you think I could possibly blend my bob in with this hair. Um, I have seen some videos of people who actually cane row their hair and then put the clips on top, but because I literally silk pressed my hair, what, two days ago, I don't really want to plait it, it wouldn't stay because the hair will just unravel. So yeah, I'll probably have to do it on a wash day and just blow dry my hair without actually silk pressing it. So I'll try that technique the next time. But anyway, I'm waffling. Tell me what you think and I will definitely be back in the future with some styling videos with the clip-ins and also just to give you an update as to how it keeps, what it feels like after it's washed and all that good stuff so thank you very very much for watching speak to you soon see you soon and please take care of yourselves Mwah. see you later